interesting. I was wondering what it would do. You know, since we got the ending and we didn't really do that much, I was wondering if it would show flashbacks of our past root. And in fact, it did. Hey everybody, my name is Fangirl and welcome back to another episode of AI The Somnium Files. First of all, apologies for the last two episodes. I think the gain on my mic got messed up and it didn't show up during testing at all, but when I was listening back to my audio for those last two episodes, woof. Sorry. Hopefully it should be fixed this time. And if it's not, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. <laughs> In the last one, uh, we redid the sync with Oto, which we chose some slightly different options. Um, and this time we found out that the polar bear was in fact impaled in the leg by a giant hook, um, which is wild. Uh, so we are promptly going out to look for people with an injured left leg, even though there's definitely a better way to do this. Uh, anyways, we passed the fuck out, because we are exhausted. Uh, and we're back here with our kid. Uh, they brought us home. So let's, uh, look around, talk to her, and then probably get back started on the investigation, but I don't know. Towel- the towel is hanging. Yep. A kitchen. It's a pot. Seasoning and cooking sake, nice. A frying pan. My refrigerator. Anything fun? The entrance. There's a three-seat sofa in the center of the room. A cushion on the sofa. Okay, maybe we're not gonna have anything fun, but I'm still gonna check. Mizuki's bed, which used to be my bed. Large speakers. The speakers themselves are actually mostly hollow. It's a door rabbit, a stuffed rabbit. I gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Oh, that's nice. Audio equipment for audio file, that's me. A small filing cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents there. A trash can. Okay, so maybe we're not maybe we're not getting anything right now. I like that he also has a cork board, like this is our flow chart as well. There's a cork board on the wall. It's kinda cool. I like it. Bench press, armchair, window. Alright, cool. Never mind. Hi girl! All right, Mizuki is sitting on the edge, the edge of the bed. Uh, don't you have school? <laughs> I'm off today. It's Tuesday. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? Oh, is it because your parents are dead? <laughs> Taking the day off for morning. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Did forget both your parents are dead. You don't need to show me Renju too. It's okay. You really don't. I don't need to see. All right, there it is. I see. Sorry, that was very rude. Uh, did Boss and Peter say anything? Oh, so. Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. Ah, uh, you wish. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. Dude, her parents just died. That was very insensitive. So they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Oh, okay. Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. That didn't already exist. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. Fantastic. Uh, sorry, I'm talking to your feet. Where's Ota? He probably went back to the hospital. Probably. I mean, I hope, for the love of God. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. Mm hmm And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Great. Why did she tell her all that? Yeah, that was a lot. Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. Oh, of course she was. The girl has lost both her parents. She's very sad. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. Alright, sorry, tired to your feet again. Time to get back to the investigation. Hey, will you take me with you? Oh god, here we go again. I told you yesterday, Mizuki. Yeah, and then we took her. I won't put you in danger like that. Oh, never mind, sorry, that was the second time. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? Look at my kitchen. The killer ah, has she a stood up. on their left leg. <laughs> they didn't want to animate her standing up. Boss said you need to find them. Yeah, and again, I'm. we could just go do the blood thing. We don't have to go look for somebody with an injured left leg, but apparently, I don't know, nobody knows what DNA analysis is. Let me help you. No, you stay Sit. here. Sit. Date, don't you know how I feel? Yeah, uh, you're sad. My parents are dead. They are. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. Only one of those was my fault. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. 
That's fair. I I get it. Oh, take. Please. Oh, let's take her. I feel that she's different from a civilian. She's involved. She's an involved party. Mizuki. I think she might be playing you right now, dude, but I also kind of believe her. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She like, I don't- I don't think she would cry. I think she's doing the crying to play on me. I don't believe that she doesn't feel this way. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. Well, they are her parents. A bond that was broken by the murderer. Yeah, fuck that guy. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. Me. You know to whom I am referring. Me. All right. Tell Mizuki that you'll take her with you. Come on, let's go. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah, hurry up. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, Queen. I'm sorry for saying your crying was fake. Maybe it was real, but, you know, I've been fooled before. Thank you, Date. Oh, she happy! Alright, kitchen again. Got up, grabbed the towel from the sink, and tossed it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Let's go. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with the towel and smiled weakly. Yes. Alright. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. Oh, what? Why? The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. In all reality, it doesn't help anyone narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. Yes, and say, look for blood. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. That would be wild. Or ask around the city for further information. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Fuck. Alright. Guess what? It's- oh, wait, we can talk to her. She looks like she just washed her face. She's ready. Oh, she's so happy. All right, let's go. Murder investigation time. Oh my god. There are so many places for us to go. Uh, probably because we don't really have much of a lead right now. So let's just run them from top to bottom, I think. Let's start with Bloom Park. Sorry, Mizuki. This is probably not the most sensitive place to be bringing you. But you said you wanted to come, so... We're going. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Yeah. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. Oh. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Girl, is that the one right next to the one that your mom was found murdered on? Mom was standing right next to me. No, well, she was sitting on the one next to you. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. No, oh, she's happy. Don't- don't ruin it. Oh, okay. We're free. We're free. You know what time it is. I- I- I know there's probably nothing, but it looks pathetic. Just- just got- you never- you never know. I gotta check. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. Oars. Like, you know, just gotta check. Last Friday I found Mizuki inside the central column. Oh, pull. Metal pull. Nice. Alright. Girl. Zuki's riding the mirror on horse. Yay! Did you go on other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. That's fair. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. I don't know if the panda really counted as a ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really I don't fun. know if this is a ride. This is kind of just like a... I don't even know. I was having so much fun it felt... Wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Have you come here with friends? Other than last Friday? Nope. 
I have I also don't count that. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Oh, that's true. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. Yeah, you don't want to change it, I get it. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. Especially because you were so young. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Yeah. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. Hmm. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. <laughs> they sucked. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. Oh no! But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Hmm. Damn. Say nothing. Just let her, you know, let her have this one. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date? Yeah, what's up? How do you define family? Hmm. Define it? You mean like being blood related? No. That would mean you and I could never be family. Yeah, that's that's not what family is. Well, I guess that's okay. No, God, you ruined it. It's okay. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Mm -hmm. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. Okay, let's maybe A, not say that out loud, because uh, it's not true, and B, this is not helping the grieving process. What? No, 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 you did not. I killed mom and dad no 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 you did not what what are you saying i i was never a good girl bitch you were the best girl i didn't listen to mom that's okay no one does i couldn't do ordinary things i'm sure you could that's why mom hit me oh jesus and why mom and daddy didn't get along and why they got divorced okay well um then mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. Well, that's not your fault. That seems like a personal choice. If I was just a good girl. No, girl. This is a lot of repressed trauma. I don't know if we have time to unpack all this right now in the middle of a crime scene. Mom wouldn't have been killed. This, all of this, is all my fault. It's not. It's not. No. That's so sad. Oh god, what's happening? Oh. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? Oh. I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? I didn't realize that we drank with Shoko as well. Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Oh, whoa, okay. Abnormal? What's wrong with her? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. Alright. I hate to break this to you, but that's, that is what children do. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal, even now. Alright, you're a bad parent. <laughs> Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. How old is she? 
It would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. <laughs> She's like, one. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Yeah, honestly. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. Oh, shit, go off, Date. I'm doing more than anyone! Ah! Our child is stupid, oh, oh. brain dead, abnormal! God! Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. Bro, I didn't do anything. She did it to herself. Oh no, a flashback where I could once again look at everything. Why would you enable me like this? You shouldn't have let me do that. Whiskey, oh nice. My drink of choice as well. So I vibe. Just checking. You never know when you're gonna get another bar joke. Oh no, I already looked at that. So yeah, I didn't realize that we also drank with Shoko. I thought it was just Renji that we were friends with, but apparently we were friends with both of them separately. I was polishing the Benito, as usual. Uh, uh, can I have a drink? You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? I don't have anything. If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like a dog. No, no, no. There, I scolded her. Thanks, Mama. You're real. You're a real one. What do you think? I think she's loaded. Yeah, I know. Let her get this off her chest. Okay. Well, I'll talk to her then. Shoko's drunk. Uh, let's, uh, let's listen to the rest of the story first. Let's... I quit my job for that girl. Uh, the pressures of stay-at-home parenting. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I, see, I, I get kind of where this is coming from, because I think I would feel the same way. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But, like, you have to be... And again, I'm probably not the right person to be giving parenting advice because A, I have no children, and B, I have great parents. So, like, and my mom did that. My mom had a career, and when I and my sisters were born, my mom stopped working and became a stay-at-home mom. And I don't think she's ever been happier. But I do think that you have to have, like, the temperament for that, you know? Like, if your goal in life is to have a family, uh, then then you're ready for that, you know, to, to stop working and dedicate your life to your family. And also, you don't have to do that. You can, you can work and still have a career and still raise a family. But, like, if the personality is not right, like, I, I don't think there's anything you can do about that. But one little slap. Okay, but let's just take a step back. Don't hit your children. <laughs> Are you hitting your kid? Yeah, don't. That's not ever okay. Ever. There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. You do. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But you slapped your child. But I have a good reason. Yeah, okay. What was that? She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? Not hit your kid. That's no reason to hit a child. So of course she starts crying. Well, yeah. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. Okay. Um, there are some people that shouldn't be parents. I think we found one. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? Because you hit her. If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Jesus. Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Okay. You know, a few times I've like maybe questioned, first of all, I did always say that she kind of looked like a bitch and now I know she is a bitch. I did always, you know, kind of question this arrangement of, like, oh, if her dad can't take care of her and her parents are divorced, maybe she should be with her mom, but, like, never mind. <laughs> Stupid girl. Starting to get the picture. It's not my fault. It is. Everything is her fault. Fuck. <laughs> it's like, I think we need to call Child Protective Services. Have you talked to Renju about this? 
I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Oh, that was not achievement. Why doesn't anyone understand? That was just Michael stopping playing his game. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> we should call the police. Date. What? Yeah. I'll talk to Renju about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, wait, I... Fuck. I missed those dialogue options. I thought... Oh, well, was hi. My misunderstanding. Um, I definitely thought that was gonna be... I was. I would get to ask those other ones. I thought listen to the rest of the story was like the, the natural flow of the convo. Okay. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm moving in my chair and I have a new chair and it's probably loud. I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. Shit, who is this voice actor? I know who this is. But some mothers just can't do that. Yeah. I mean, that's... I mean... It's a little more... Maybe let's call it more nuanced than that, dude. Men, am I right? Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. Don't let me look at everything again. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Mm. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Damn. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. Maybe. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Is this Chris Hackney? I'm trying to figure out what this is. I can't figure it out. Oh no, you let me look at everything again. That's your mistake. I mean, at least I, I'm glad that we are like kind of following up on this and we're not like letting it. Can I please click on that? Like we're not just letting it die. Oh, a table. All right, uh, just checking. Okay, oops, sorry. Hey, I'm still polishing the Benito. Now what time do you close? When you two are done talking. Great, thank you, homie. That's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Um, did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Oh. Listen to Ren's story. Boo, uh, what do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? I don't have a kid. Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great you mother. You'd be a great mother, Mama. Alright. Um, I do feel bad. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. No! Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. You can. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Well, she probably also needs therapy. Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Oddly. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Have we gotten her therapy? Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. Mm. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Okay. Couldn't you step in? I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. Ugh. Okay. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. See, this is the kind of conversation that maybe y'all should have had before you became parents. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. Yeah, rude. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. Yeah, parenting is a two-person job, my dude. That might be it. Yeah. Maybe this is partially my fault. It is. 
Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You're an asshole. You two are both awful parents. Yeah. We told him. I knew about the whole thing. Yeah. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. Oh, I just did that? Oh. <laughs> Don't cry. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. No. Can we like hug her? And also Google a therapist? They're gonna have their work cut out for them with this one, but... Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. We can't... We can't deal with this. Okay. In the next one. I think we're just gonna go in order. So I think we'll stop by the shrine next. Maybe go have a nice little pray, pray session. Um, for Mitsuki's parents. Oh, well, we can't review our files now because we were, we're stuck. Um, maybe we'll just go and, and we'll, we'll do it. Hold on. Hold on. We got a new, we got to drive. We're driving to the shrine. Oh wait, we're actually Newman. We didn't new on the way here, so I wasn't sure. All right. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? I don't know, honestly. I think we just needed a little break. We just needed a break. Let's look at our files. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Oh, a buggy. A buggy is a small baby carriage. Strictly speaking, a buggy is different than a baby stroller, but many people use the terms interchangeably. In, computer ter in computing terms, it also refers to code with errors or glitches. Mizuki and game developers alike hate buggies. So valid. All right, cool. That's it. So in the next one, we'll take a small break from the investigation, even though we've only investigated one place. Um, and uh, we need maybe we need to recenter ourselves a little bit. We can do that here at the show, but we'll do it in the next one. I'll see you then.